documentary see currently. And the use of the, I mean, so a security uh, a, agent or officer who had a beard. And people are asking, now, how is that possible? Because it's actually a very rare occurrence. So there can be no doubt that people are right when they intimate that some other persons have actually infiltrated the forces. Indeed, there are also West Wagon uh, reports actually reveal that there were persons in those uniforms that were really hooligans and bandits and not necessarily from the security agencies. The IGP himself had caused at a point to come out even to indicate the right uniform of his men. Indeed, we also know the national security operatives are normally not used even in these uh, circumstances. It is the police largely. But for the first time, we had military deployed, especially in the Volta region, and on our streets everywhere, there was every effort to intimidate and suppress voters, especially in NDC strongholds. But thanks be to God, we still prevailed. And even after we prevailed, now they go back and still use even higher forces to ensure that the will of the people, even within our parliamentary uh, areas, is also becoming a problem. I have watched how Senegal is played out. I am very hopeful that the party is conducting its own investigations. Remember that it doesn't matter what exercise is going on. There are actually well over 6 million Ghanaians who are in support of every decision that is currently being made by the NDC to ensure a reversal, to ensure that the right thing is done, above all, to ensure that the EC is itself accountable to the people for whom they were put there to undertake their duties. They are obliged by law, irrespective of their independence, to be transparent. I mean, this was even the very first time I saw an election going on. And between the 7th and the 8th, there were no updates. We heard absolutely nothing. There was total silence. And then suddenly we heard that there was going to be a declaration. How many of us know that the NDC even submitted a petition to the EC a few hours before the declaration was made? highlighting some critical issues, especially matters to do with Echima South, to do with Sene and Upper Denchira West. Eventually, these are all seeds that we won. Sene West is now in the bag. Upper Denchira West has been won. We are looking at what will happen in Sefiwe also, where a whole ballot box was taken away. In a particular polling station, no collation was done. And we know that that particular polling station, like what happened in, a, in a Sene West, is actually a stronghold of the NDC. So, you know, there are all of these things that have come up, and people have observed them. And, you know, there is a certain effort, every effort, by the new patriotic party, led by President Akufuado himself, to prevent this declaration of the NDC as having one majority of the seats in parliament, knowing very well what the repercussions would be and the eventual outcome that this might even have, even a bearing even on the outcome of the presidential race. Because certainly, even if you were to be a judge as the winners of the majority in parliament, take or leave it, that the presidency even, President Kupado is indeed president of Ghana. How does that make him look? For the first time, we have a hung parliament. I believe that any human being who is worth his salt, even that alone challenges and questions your legitimacy. More than anything, it is a trend and a convention that has been established that whenever you find a political party that garners majority of the seats, exactly, there will be a similar groundswell for the presidential as well. But unfortunately, on this occasion, we are being told that the conventions no longer hold, that the numbers as we've known them historically should no longer be evidence of the fact that a particular presidential candidate has an edge over another. The EC itself, having made all these corrections, and I am not in any way mathematically inclined, but I've listened to many of the orders that have taken place so far. The numbers of the overvotes, the pardon. You wonder where all these things appeared from. Even in some cases, the ink, instead of the normal one that we're all used to, there were these yellow ones in some of the uh, boxes. So take, for example, those who were not conversant with these things, where a presiding officer himself is not as objective as he should be. So there is every exercise that I believe that the EC has itself undertaken by its conduct, by its own omissions, by certain activities that are taking place, that it was all in an effort to make the MPP win this election. And having failed that, there is now even an effort to go after the NDC and to secure and claw back some of the seats that we have actually come